All right, guys. Just woke up. Not too long ago. Took my dog out. Fed her. Um, this gas station that I'm at, it costs $12 for a freaking shower, dude. And I'm just like, oh. I don't know if I'm trying to pay $12 to wash my body, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is just go um, until I get to like a bigger city um, that has like, um, what's it called? A Planet Fitness. And that way I won't be charged because Planet Fitness, if anything, last time I went to a Planet Fitness that wasn't like my main one, um, it's supposed to be five dollars. But the one I went to, I'm not sure if they charge me or not. But I, I like scan my card, I don't know if it like does it automatically, but they didn't charge me to my knowledge. Um, and even if they do, five dollars is a lot better than twelve dollars. And then they're saying there's some people, like some of the truckers here might have extra points on their card so I could ask around, but I'm not trying to ask nobody if they can give me a shower. Um, so yeah, man, let's get moving. Okay, guys, we finally made it. Hey, shut your mouth. Gosh, it gets water. Anyways, we finally made it. And yo, I gotta say, this is like a breathtaking sight, guys. Like, hold on, I'm about to show you guys. Like, so beautiful. <laughs> Here it is, the world's eighth wonder or ninth wonder, however many wonders there is in the world. Bam! The world's largest wind chime. Yo, isn't it awesome? not making any wind chimey noises. We got a nice little park area for it. I guess that's about that's about it for the world's largest wind chime. I got to take a picture with my axe and we can move on to the next site. Yo, uh, I was taking a picture with my axe. Back up. And yo, look at this, look at this chair, bro. It's the world's largest rocking chair. I didn't even freaking notice. That thing is freaking huge. It's actually more impressive than the wind chime. Like, I don't know how I did not notice. I thought it was a tree at first. Like, I wasn't even sure what they were working on. Yo, it's a big ass freaking chair. That's freaking brazy. I want to take a, like, I want to sit on it. I got places to be though. Uh, let's go on to the next stop. Okay guys, we're at the next site. <clears throat> and we literally just went like, not even like a minute from like down there, down the street. I think this might be the world's largest bird cage. And then across the street, the world's largest mailbox. Why, like what's even the point of this guys? Like. Why do we have to make such big things? Let's get a closer look. I think you can go up there. I gotta say, man, 
one hell of a view of uh, whatever town this is, Casey. Um, but yeah, I'm up on top of the mailbox. You can see the little lid down there. It's the roof. Um, it's pretty cool, I guess. Not the craziest things I've ever seen. My axe, what I wanna do with my axe? We gotta find somewhere to like chop something. I could chop one of those little wood posts. I'm gonna end up getting a ticket for vandalism. Can't even see my face right now. The lighting's terrible. There it is. I'm gonna get a ticket for vandalism, guys. I keep chopping stuff with my ax. But, it's early in the morning. I don't think anybody's, you know, up and about yet, so. Yeah, man, this is the world's largest mailbox. We're finally here at the next destination. Probably like, yo, where where are you at, man? Like, I don't see anything, see any like tourist attraction around you. But yo, check it out. Hey, boom! It's the Gateway Arches. Doing it big. Got hero with me too. She likes them. Yo, these are like super big, man. Like. You thought that mailbox was big, and that freaking chair was big. Yo, this is like freaking huge. And then they got this freaking river. Bam. Yeah, man. So, I don't know what I wanna do. I don't know if I should stay here. Oh wait, I gotta find something to axe. I always keep forgetting. This one's gonna be kind of tricky because there's not a lot of stuff I can stick my axe into. Um, I don't know, man. I definitely gotta have the arches in the background of the axe. So let's just walk around, take a look. Come here. Look at your face. Sit. Sit down. Sit down, hero. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the last stop for the day. This one's actually the one I've been actually like looking forward to. Sorry, I had to read that real quick. Don't want to deface any property. But yo, this one is low key. The one I've been looking forward to like this whole time. Like it just looks super dope. So, bam. It's a freaking giant in the freaking ground. Just freaking foot. This is so freaking dope, dude. I wanna see his face. Uh. 
Oh shit. Yo. This is crazy. This one's super dope, man. I love you. <laughs> I like it. His hair's like sticking out. And then he got his hand. His hand over here. Now. This is where I'm gonna take the picture from up here. But yeah, guys, it's the last stop for the day. Probably my favorite. It's not much going on though. It's just a guy in the ground, giant. Um, but yeah, man, I think I'm gonna sign out here. So, peace. Yo, what's up? We are finally here at the next station. That's just... <laughs> oh my gosh, yo. We're